emitters will pay them to deploy autonomous underwater vehicles, such as this one, to fertilize the ocean, thus offsetting their carbon emissions. At the same time, maritime carbon creditors sell the secret locations of the fertilized patches to the fishermen so that they can profit from the stimu stimulation to the food chain that would result from the plankton blooms. So maritime carbon creditors make money coming and going. They make money from the people who pay for the fertilizer to the patches. They make money from the fishermen who want to come and uh, fish from uh, the fish that come to feed on the fertilized patches. Sounds like a win-win for all concerned. But let's suppose, and let's suppose uh, maritime carbon creditors decides to go out to this area. This is the area of the Iron X-1 experiment, an area where there's extra uh, nutrients and a good area for fertilization. It's close to the Galapagos Islands, a good place for um, deploying the autonomous underwater vehicles, and close to the fishing ports of South America where the fishermen would um, perhaps pay for the locations of the uh, fertilized patches to come with their fishing boats to fish. But let's suppose after a particularly large um, fertilization um, deployment, this is what blooms. This is Pseudonychia australis, responsible for the red tides in the eastern Pacific. Okay, the red tide blooms. Maritime carbon creditors doesn't care because carbon has been sequestered. They get their carbon credits and thus their customers are happy. Their investors are happy because they get their return on investment. But within a week, this is what the coastline of South America looks like. With fish and marine mammals dead and dying from the poisoning of the food chain. The fishermen want to sue maritime carbon creditors, but in one jurisdiction do they sue? All of this happened in international waters. Do they have the resources to sue? And how do they prove that the red tide wouldn't have happened anyway? OK, future scenario number two, Northeast Pacific Power and Light Company. OK, it all starts with this. Uh, this is, again, Monterey Bay. And here's my institutional